Good morning and happy Mask Monday. As you can tell, I have already started. Um, I started the video and it just, I don't know what I did. Something messed up, it stopped. So I just figured, let's just start over. So I've already got my Mask Monday on. Today, um, on my Mask Monday on, I've already got my mask on. So today I'm using the Avocado Mask Clay, Clay Mask. Sorry, I'm reading it backwards. But anyway, how was your guys' weekend? Um, we had a really good weekend. We went out of town for the weekend for um, our grandson's birthday. And just had a really good time with them. Man, I'm so bummed because I didn't want to have to start over, but oh well. That is not going to start my day as a bad day. Just because it's Monday. I'm not going to let it. So I hope you guys had a great weekend. This is kind of already dry, but that's okay. I'll see if I can cut and paste a little bit to get you guys cut up. But um, anyway, yeah, we went to um, my grandson's birthday this weekend. Had a really great time. Um, we stayed in an Airbnb with them. And he got to bring over some of his little friends. And we had a barbecue with him in the backyard. And met some of his friends. And um, really good kids. Really good kids. They were funny. Um, they just kind of... They didn't seem like they were shy around us or anything. It was just like, oh, just another day. But it was nice getting to spend time with them. Um, we went to um, our daughter's house, which was which is my husband's daughter. Um, when we we met um, about twenty one years ago, and I had one son, and he had four kids. He has a daughter and three sons. And, um, so they just, uh, they're just mine now. They're just my kids as well. Um, they were older. His kids were older whenever we got together. My son was eight and his youngest son at the time was nine. And then it went up to, let's see, I think they were nine was his youngest. 17, I think it's nine, they were nine, 15, 16, and 17, or something like that. Um, and so he had um, two kids that lived in, in town and then two kids that lived in a different state. They lived in Oregon. So I didn't get to meet them for a while, but anyway, it was just um, a nice weekend when we got together. Let me put a little bit more down here. I always seem to forget my neck. And I was watching YouTube videos this weekend too. And they said most people forget their neck. And then um, eyebrows when they're doing their makeup, which I'm really bad about that. Anyway, we're going off on a different subject. So we got to go down there and spend the weekend um, with... Um, our daughter and um, her fiance and together they have um, they have two kids but four and um, when they got together he had two boys and then they had two boys um, later their oldest one is in the Navy and we got to talk to him three times over the phone which was really nice he's doing great we're so proud of him um, he did enlist for more time. So um, I think he added an additional two years to his time. So he seemed really excited. He was in good spirits. Um, it was just really nice to get to see him, talk to him on the phone. Um, they were about to go out and do a few things, so he didn't know if he would have service on the on the ship. Um, 
But the next day, the next morning, he called us and he's like, no, you know, we're out and about and everything's great. And uh, he just wanted to talk to us again before we left because we got there on Saturday. We only got to stay one night and we were leaving. So he ended up calling um, Sunday pretty early. It was just really good to talk to him. Um, so we got to talk to him. We got to see the, um, the two youngest boys, which, um, okay, just turned eight. And Case is their youngest. Um, he's one. He'll be two. But he's shy. He's really shy with us. Um, but anyway, I will um, insert some pictures in here somewhere in this video and let you guys kind of see um, the ones that I can post. I'll let you guys kind of see the kids and how much fun they had and how big they're getting. Man, time just goes by so fast. So anyway, we got to spend time with them. And then Sunday at the birthday party, um, the birthday party was actually about an hour away because their um, their other son, he lives an hour away and they wanted to have the birthday party close by to where he can come. So that's why they chose this location. And when we got there, he ended up showing up um, about an hour into it. We got to spend about an hour with him um, before we had to leave because we were further. So we had to drive. It was about a four hour drive back home. And um, so it was nice just to get to get, you know, get caught up with him as well. He is a sophomore in high school and he's doing really good as well. So in the pictures, you'll see, um, you'll see him, his name is um, Kalani, and then you'll see LK and you'll see Case. And then of course, um, the daughter and the dad and, and us, um, Jackie, Kevin, and then me and my husband, Don. So it was really nice, really nice just to get, just to spend quality time we didn't have to really worry about doing anything. Um, everything was provided for in the Airbnb. It was really nice. I didn't get a lot of pictures of the Airbnb. I got a picture of the room we were staying in, which our grandson um, had put on our bed, a bag of Chips Ahoy with a quarter on it, which I thought was really cute. I did get a picture of that, but he had... Um, and I don't know if I got a picture of it or if my husband got a picture of it. Um, I do actually have it. Um, so I'll show you. Um, let me grab it really fast and I'll show you what he did. Okay, so the Airbnb we were staying at um, it was three bedrooms. And so they made a sign for our bedroom. Um, so that way we'll know. Because when we got there, nobody was there. Um, LK had a, a soccer game and we didn't make it in time to go see that. And so, um, they man they had made a sign when we got there, and they said just follow the note to your guys's room. So, here was the note on our door, and I just thought that was the cutest little note. Please keep out of Nana and Papa's room. I loved it, and my husband's like, why is Nana's name? so big and Papa is so little. So we all got a kick out of that. Um, and it was cute that they had the um, cookies on the bed for us. And so, um, but on, on our way there, we had stopped um, at the store and got both the kids some gifts. And we got there, we unloaded everything. And um, then we put the gifts, we put LKs on the left-hand side and then cases on the right-hand side. So when they got there, um, um, LK's like, Nana, did you see the note on your door? I said, I did. And he goes, did you find the cookies? I said, I did. Thank you so much. That was really sweet. Um, and I said, well, we have something for you in there. So they both got really excited. I mean, Case is so little. Like I said, he's a year and a half, a little over a year and a half. Um, and so he's just really shy with us. So he had to make sure that either his mom or his dad was right next to him. But um, he got excited. We got him a bunch of Bluey stuff because he loves Bluey. And um, LK was wanting Avatar, I think the last Airbender. But we couldn't find, 
couldn't find anything with that in the store. I looked online, couldn't find anything. So we just ended up, because him, both of the boys love water. So we ended up getting LK a swimsuit. Um, I got him a wobble. I think it's called a wobble ball, which was a big hit with all of the kids. Um, what else? We got him something else. I don't know why I can't even think. Oh, because he plays soccer. Um, we got him one of the air things you put over your neck, which was a huge hit as well. Um, at the time we were coming, we didn't know that he was going to have other friends there. Um, uh, otherwise, I would have bought, you know, a few of the wobble balls. Um, case, we got him, I think it was called the cube. And it's just like a, it's not, a, well, it's a stress cube, I guess. And then you just squeeze it. But um, the feel, it was just a really weird feeling. And um, he liked it. Like, no matter how you did it, it would always go back to the square. He did play with that. But I think his favorite out of everything that we got was the wobble ball. So him and his brother fought over that wobble ball. Anyway, I should have bought more. And I'm going to buy more next time. We're going to go down there again. Um, I think after my after the texas trip so we'll have to go back down there and um get closer to the baby just because he doesn't know us as well we haven't got to see him as much as we did with lk lk we we seen him a lot when he even though they lived in the same spot they were getting to come down more and we were getting to go up there more but with us this last year of trying to get the property and all of that mess. Um, we just haven't been up there as much. And then they started managing a bunch of Airbnbs in their area. And so they just been, she's just been really busy doing that. Um, so they, we just, you know, just life. We haven't got to see each other, but anyway, we just gotta pause and take more time, you know, to spend time with family because he's only gonna be two one time and he's only gonna be eight you know, why it's only going to be six one time. So we just need to, you know, try not to let life get in the way, I guess is what I should say. We do get to see Wyatt a lot more just because he's 45 minutes away. Anyway, uh, we have two other grandsons here in Bakersfield. Um, and they are three, which Elias is about to turn four. And then um, Theo, he will turn two in November. And we've gotten to see them quite a bit the last few months. And I think I have some pictures. I'll just try and throw some pictures in here somewhere in this video. So you guys can put um, pictures with the faces. So anyway, we had a really good time. Anyway, this video has just been everywhere. Just while I let this mask sit on my face. I didn't even look to see how long it's supposed to sit. This is dry. Just wait for my neck to dry a little bit. This mask smells really, really good. I already did my hair this morning, even though it doesn't look like it. So after I do this, um, I was gonna do a get ready with me with my new makeup, but I'm not gonna have time this morning. I did practice, I used the green, which it turned out pretty, but I'm not getting my makeup to stay all day like you see these girls. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So by the time I got home, I thought, well, I'll just show you guys, you know, what it looked like after I got home, but <laughs> no, that ain't gonna work. I just, I rub my eyes a lot. So it looked like on this eye right here, I only had like my makeup right there. Um, this one still looked okay, but nothing like these girls, they show you. Well, I wore this for 12 hours. And it looks exactly the same as when they put it on. I'm jealous, but so anyway, I might just um, put my makeup on and kind of show you with using that. Um, I don't know. I mean, it turned out okay. I just need to practice more. Just they're more 
bright colors, the greens, the purples, the pinks. So I'll figure them out. I'll figure them out. So maybe I'll just uh, try it if I have time. Um, and I'll throw a picture or a little video of after I get ready. Not get ready with me, but after I'm ready video. Anyway, yeah, it was really nice to get to spend time with them. They had a hot tub. The kids loved the hot tub there. Um, we barbecued. And then the next morning, um, she got up and made breakfast. And they had an espresso machine, which I wanted to try that. And so she made me one the night before. It was really good. Now I want an espresso machine, but I'm just not, I'm not buying anything until we move because I don't want to have to pack and move it anyway. So that might be one of the first things I get when I get moved. Um, it was really good. And then the next morning she had made um, ham and egg croissants. And uh, LK brought me a ham and egg croissant with fruit and an espresso <laughs> um, coffee when I was getting ready. And he goes, here, Nana, mom made this for you. It was really sweet. He's so, he's so sweet. It was really nice. And he's always been really close with me. Um, so the next morning, he come in there, sat in the bed with me, um, talked about school, talked about his friends. It was really nice. Okay, so I think this is about time I can wash this off. So that's what I'm gonna do. And if I can figure it out, I'm gonna try and, I'm drooling. I'm gonna try and throw in some pictures And then I'll come back with my, not get ready with me, but after I'm ready and show you um, how I am starting my Monday. You could tell it's a Monday today and I've had my coffee. So I need to drink my coffee, get ready, and I will be back. See you guys in a minute. Okay, I am ready. Um, let me wrap this up. I'm wearing the ColourPop makeup. Um, I wore the pink. You can't really tell on camera, but there's the pink here. I did two different... Um, let me grab it. I'm just going to hold the phone. So hopefully I'm not too much in. So I used two different ones. I'll have to do a get ready with me. This, um, just my luck. I used out of this color palette. And no, not this one. Hold on. If you see anything in my house, excuse it. We're gone all weekend. It's a mess. Sorry, sorry. Going in the bathroom. Ooh la la, and I used out of that. 
Um, I use that, then I use the um, setting spray for, I got from Timu. The lip color is from ColourPop that I have on. It came in the set. I am really liking this ColourPop stuff. It's both of them. It's a lipstick with a, a gloss on the top. And it is nude, and I, I like it. I really do like it. I want to go on there and order me some more. I just have to wait a little bit. What else? The mascara. I don't really like. It's called Boom. Boom Lastic. I don't remember where I got it from. Could be Rite Aid. Um, could be Dollar General. I'm not sure. I don't really like it how it goes on. I didn't really have time to mess with it a lot. I want to get the last Lash Princess everybody's talking about. So I might have to get that pretty soon. Sorry. So that's me, the shirt. When I go back in here, got the news on. If you guys hear any talking, it's the news. The shirt, what I am wearing is from Timu. It is the green shirt that I got. So hopefully you guys can see it's long. I got it in extra large. I actually think I can go start going down to large shirts. All right, that is me. Now I'm off to work. I just wanted to show you guys the mask. My face is really soft, really soft. Um, it was easy to come off, not like the banana. I don't know that I'll do the banana one again. It was fun, but it was just everywhere. It was in my hair. So I really do like the clay mask. But All right, guys, um, I will let you go and be looking out for a... Timu Hall tomorrow. All right, talk to you guys later. Have a great day and talk to you soon.